Sweetly, I'm Jesse, and today I'm in Seattle, Washington for the first time. Um, we are doing a bit of sightseeing today in the city, gonna have some food. So we got something called the Seattle City Pass, which gives you like five attractions for one price. So we're gonna go see, today we're gonna see the Space Needle and um, the Museum of Pop Culture. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna go to the aquarium and do a marina tour, I believe. And then um, we also have another attraction which is gonna be, we think is gonna be the zoo. So I'm super excited to go in the Space Needle. It's really super high up and you can see, obviously, for pretty far in quite a few directions. And I did the, I think it was called the Willis Tower or Sears Tower in Chicago, like, I don't know, eight, nine years ago. And that was up really high also, and it was a lot of fun, so I'm excited that we get to do this today. And I'm also excited to see the Museum of Pop Culture, because I know they have a little bit of Harry Potter stuff in there. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me, and I hope you enjoy. So here it is from the ground. This is the Space Needle in Seattle, and it is 605 feet tall. So tall, and when you're up there you can see for miles and it's absolutely beautiful but I did want to let you guys know I wanted to apologize because my camera I was having issues with it and you can see how dark it looks it's, it was recording really dark um, so I'm going to be inserting some video from my phone that I took and that's going to include some vertical video which is why you saw that at the beginning so that's why that's there because my camera was giving me some issues look at these little shoes look at these little feet oh I just love her in shoes <laughs> Something really fun is that the Space Needle was created um, in April of 1962 for the Century 21 Exposition, which was a space age themed world's fair. So there's so much um, to look at that's very 60s and mid-century, which is really cool. And also a fun fact about this place is that Elvis made a movie called It Happened at the World's Fair where he visits the Space Needle, but he doesn't actually visit the Space Needle. He They recreated it in a studio <laughs> for that movie. But still pretty cool. Observation deck, where you'll be up at a height of 520 feet, out of the Space Needle's total height of 605 feet. That's 184 meters or 60 stories. The Space Needle was built back in 1962 to be the centerpiece for the World's Fair that year. Bainbridge Island, our large passenger ferry fleet go to and from there all the time. Down below us, you can see the white arches of the Pacific Science Center, which was designed by Minoru Yamasaki. Who Yeah. It's pressing it together. 
something? What do you want to say? Change your mind? So we are at the Museum of Pop Culture now. We're out there. They have a little cafe. It's called the Culture Kitchen. So Evangeline and I are sitting here waiting for our food and then we're gonna go look around. I got a chicken sandwich with cilantro coleslaw. Is that what's on there? <laughs> I don't remember now. <laughs> Looks good. Just wanted to throw a little word of caution out there. We're headed into the horror section now, so if you don't want to see that, skip forward to 10 minutes and 42 seconds.
Crystal Fountain, um, trying to pass the time because we did the Space Needle earlier and we did the um, Museum of Pop Culture as well. But one of the cool things with the City Pass is if you um, have a ticket to see the Space Needle, then you get to come back and see the Space Needle again with the same ticket for the last three hours that it's open. So we wanted to be able to do that because I really want to be able to see like the Seattle skyline like with the lights and everything at nighttime. The only problem is that out here it doesn't get dark until like 9 o'clock. So we're trying to pass the time. Um, I think we're going to go walk over to a restaurant, try to spend some time there and see if we can make it until 9 because it's quite cold and I'm um, kind of tired. <laughs> this is called the International Fountain. It was originally made in 1961 for the 1962 World's Fair. So we actually decided to come here instead. It's called Zeke's Pizza. And I'm always down for some pizza. So we'll see if it's good. too thin crusty for me because I like a fat thick pizza crust but it was still really good um, so now we're walking back over to the Space Needle now we're walking back over to the Space Needle and we're hoping to get up there to be able to see the nighttime lights in Seattle but if you notice this is nine o'clock this is nine o'clock at, at night in Seattle what is that it's still so bright and the other thing is And it's freezing I have on this little light sweater and it's too light <laughs> it's freezing out here <laughs> This one goes 10 miles or 16 kilometers per hour, making this a 41 second trip from when we started moving. We are headed up to the very top level of the building, which is 52 stories, 520 feet or 158 meters up in the air. The very tip of the needle is 60 stories, 605 feet or 184 meters. Now the Space Needle was built as the centerpiece of the Century 21 World's Fair, which was right out here in Seattle Center. Apparently it was supposed to be a mix of the Eiffel Tower, a rocket ship, and a flying saucer. The best way to explain that choice is it was 1962. Now we're just about up to the very top. The top levels are circular, so if anybody gets lost, just circle. So it's 10 o'clock at night now, and not only can you still see some light up there in the sky, but there's the sun still setting over there. This is just crazy to me. Do you like the Space Needle? Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> oh man. <laughs>
closely on the Space Needle and we look down and there's our the restaurant where we went to dinner. There it is. There's Zeke's. Way down there. That's cool. I just feel like that's really cool. We were down there, baby. We were in there eating pizza. <laughs> little us. <laughs> the little version of us was in there eating pizza. <laughs> There's a manual. He's climbing up this crazy thing to go down this super long slide. Hi, baby. Wait, wait from the top before you go in. Today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I just I really like getting to show all the cool stuff that we're seeing. Um, there's so many cool things out there and I really love getting to experience them and the more the better um, in my personal opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe and um, I'll see you guys next time. Well tomorrow actually. I think from the either the aquarium or the harbor tour. But either way I'll see you guys next time. Bye!